now see in my second lecture we are this is the second lecture we are beginning with numericals on central tendency and dispersion now see first numerical we will see six samples were analyzed for its mercury content the values obtained in ppm of mercury are as follows these are the values 2.06 then 2.16 and 1.95 these are the values given and now we have to calculate mean median mode then deviation average deviation then relative average deviation then range standard deviation variance and coefficient of variance all right now first of all we will find the mean how we will find the mean add these and then see there are six readings so you need to divide it by six so you will get the value of x bar here x bar is equal to 2.02 add these and then divide by six now for median median we will have to arrange them in the ascending order so see for median observation number then xi value then i'll write x bar then d1 is equal to xi minus x bar then xi minus x bar whole square these columns we will make see for median we have to arrange it in the ascending order and by the time i have drawn the table so first observation second third fourth fifth and sixth so now arranging in ascending order you get 1.89 then 1.93 then 1.95 then 2.06 2.12 and 2.16 now see as the number of readings are even 6 so to what you have to do take the mean of the middle two so see here these are the two middle two we have to take its mean so 1.95 plus 2.06 divided by 2 addition of this then divided by 2 so 2 2s are 4 now see here so 2.0 then see what will it come 2.0 once again 0 and then you will get 5 so this becomes your median all right now mode see here nothing is repeated so your mode comes out to be no mode there is no mode in the uh this set of observation all right now coming to the x bar what is x bar we have to write here 2.02 all right now deviation we have to find so for first one 2.02 minus this or this minus this you will get minus 0.13 
then for next minus 0.09 then minus 0.07 then 0.04 then 0.08 and then 0.14 all right now please try to understand here one more thing you don't have to consider this signs just sum it up summation of di summation di what you get here is see, see it will be 0.55 now you have to do the square square of 13 is 169 so 169 see here two digit in squaring it will be four digit 10 raised to minus 4 9 nines are 81 10 raised to minus 4 7 sevens are 49 10 raised to minus 4 16 10 raised to minus 4 64 10 raised to minus 4 and 196 into 10 raised to minus 4 at least basic squares we know right till 20 we know the square so we we can do directly now its sum com comes out to be 575 into 10 raised to minus 4 you don't have to add this this will be taken as common so you get this answer all right now this work we have done for average deviation now average deviation will be equal to what summation di by n so summation di is how much 0.55 upon n that is 6 so it comes out to be 0 0.0916 so d bar is 0.092 all right now relative average deviation you have the formula d bar by x bar all right now d bar you have got here 0 0.092 and x bar is here 2.02 so it comes out to be 0 0.0455 now i'll have to rub this any any one of the side i'll rub here because we have got the data here now moving on to standard deviation now see the number of readings or observation is less than 20 so we have to use the formula s is equal to so s is equal to under root of summation of xi minus x bar whole square upon n minus 1 so here n is your 6 so 6 minus 1 will be 5 now see here it will be under root of 575 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 6 minus 1 so it comes out to be 5 7 under root of 575 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 5 so s will be equal to 5 ones are 5 5 5 ones are 5 then you get 5 ones are 5 once again all right and then 5 twos are uh, sorry 5 threes are 15 sorry 5 fives are 25 so further you can do the calculation under root of 115 into 10 raised to minus 4 right so it comes out to be 0.11 or you can say 11.00 0, 0 into 10 raised to minus 2 all right so it comes out to be 0 0.11 <clears throat> now variance variance is what v is equal to s square so square it uh, 11.00 into 10 raised to minus 2 the square you will get the variance right then coefficient of variance it will be s upon x bar which is equal to 0 0.11 upon 2.02 2 
all right now if you multiply this by 100 you get percent in percentage all right now range range also we have to find so range is equal to x max minus x minimum so this is equal to 2.16 minus 1.89 which comes out to be 0.27 all right this was the first numerical now moving on to the second numerical second numerical i'll only give you the hints and the data then you will have to calculate yourself yes result obtained in 12 replicate measurements 10 replicate measurements of chromium content were chromium content in steel were 4.88 and 4.99 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right calculate all the measures of central tendency as well as dispersion now first of all you need to add all this and then you have to divide it by 10 you will get x bar so x bar comes out to be 4.87 now for median you have to arrange it sequentially so i'll write here observation number then xi then x bar then xi minus x bar then xi minus x bar whole square all right four point seven one four point eight four four point eight five four point eight six four point eight six four point eight seven four point eight seven four point eight eight 4.92 and 4.99 so see now as the number of readings are 10 you have to take the middle two and then divide it by 2 so this is to be taken so median comes out to be 4.865 now see here it has two modes 4.86 and 87 so this was about the central tendency we have done now moving on to the dispersion here you have found out the mean as 4.87 now start subtracting it minus 0.17 Minus zero point zero four, minus zero point zero three, minus zero point zero two, minus. See, it comes out to be four point eight seven. Wait, me mean if we are talking of eight seven five. So it will be converted into four point eight eight. All right. So here we have to take four point eight eight. rounding up so 
पॉइंट नॉट टू देन पॉइंट नॉट टू देन पॉइंट नॉट वन पॉइंट नॉट वन देन ज़ीरो ज़ीरो पॉइंट ज़ीरो फोर एंड पॉइंट वन वन नाउ सम दिस अप यू विल गेट द समेशन ऑफ इट एंड दैट इज एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार विच कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट फोर फाइव ऑल राइट नाउ सी यू हैव टू इग्नोर द साइन जस्ट यू हैव टू एड दैम अप देन स्क्वायरिंग इट ऑल राइट यू नीड टू स्क्वायर ईच वन एंड फाइनली डू द समेशन ऑफ एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार होल स्क्वायर राइट यू विल गेट द रीडिंग now then what you have to do um average deviation all right for average deviation this sum divided by n point 45 divided by n you will get the answer for average deviation relative average deviation what you have to do is you have to d bar upon whatever answer you get here upon x bar you have to divide it by the mean then now standard deviation standard deviation is equal to under root of xi minus x bar whole square upon n minus 1 now see here the readings are 10 whatever summation you get here you have to write here summation xi Minus x bar whole square. Whatever answer you get here, you have to write, and then n minus one means ten minus one. It will be nine. So you'll get some value for s. Then variance you have to find. Variance is equal to s square, and then you have to find coefficient of variance, which is equal to s upon x bar into hundred. Then you have to find the range. Range is equal to x max minus x minimum. So, what is the value of x maximum? Four point nine nine, four point seven one. So it will come out to be zero point. Say nine minus one is eight, and point two eight. All right. so these were the two numericals you have to work it out here and you have to find the answer now we will move on to the next thing in the next lecture that is distribution of random error that is gaussian curve we will see we will see its characteristics see this chapter is this unit is full of numericals every next lecture we will have to see the numericals only thank you